Today we'll take a look at Bird Dogs P100 camera. This is their entry level camera and of course Skahoy supports this one. It's a full NDI camera, I guess that's what Bird Dog is known for. And inside it has a Sony CMOS sensor which has um, also a lens with 10 times optical zoom. It's uh, an HD camera, so you have 1080p 60 coming out of this one as the maximum. On the back side, it has SDI, it has HDMI, and of course, on the Ethernet jack, you have uh, full NDI for control and video data. But the Skahoy controllers are actually controlling the camera with Visca commands. Not that it really matters to you, because it still takes only a single cable. This is the PTC Wiz, and today this is the choice of controller for working with the P100 camera. So let's look at what it does. First of all, I really am in love with this form factor. It's such a beautiful little package, super sleek and lightweight, powered by a single cable, uh, data and power uh, over ethernet coming in here. And it has OLED buttons with graphical displays above, so you can really customize uh, the buttons to do whatever you want. And you'll see how useful that is, because right now it's very clear that this is a camera selector, camera one, two, three, four, five. If I press here, we are changing over to preset recall. So um, this is a toggle button that goes forth and back between the two. And if I press the upper edge, you see that I'm cycling through menu options on the upper side here. Now I have camera number one selected, which is the bird dog camera here. And you can see it on the screen. So there's, uh, it's um, filming a little section over here. And with the joystick pad, I can move the camera around. So you see I'm pressing it to the side to make a pan and I can pan the other way. I can also tilt if I want. And notice that it's pressure sensitive. So if I press it really lightly, it, it does like that. And if I press it lightly on the side, it pans like this. But if I press it harder, you'll see that it's beginning to move quicker. So even though this is a very low profile joystick, it is still pressure sensitive and gives you different speed levels. Same with the zoom rock, of course, I can zoom in and I can zoom out. Very nice, very uh, sleek and minimalistic interface here. Now, what I really want to show you is how much you can do with these two encoders. And keep in mind that all the options you see right now may not necessarily be forced upon you. Why? Because Skahoy Controllers has a strong configuration interface. So you can add more, but you can also subtract some. Skahoy Controllers is about making a great experience for even as simple users, understand me right, but I know that you are in situations where you have volunteers or teachers to do your navigation or camera control and your streaming. So you really need devices that are user friendly. Skahoy at the rescue, right? Let's look at what we can do. So if we uh, click this button, we are basically browsing through some pages and here we have the exposure mode. So I want to go over to manual exposure instead. And you can see manual exposure gives us a different picture from auto to manual. It's, it's clearly different. I think this is a tiny bit dark. So we want to do something about that. So we just move on in the menu here and now you can see I have iris adjustments I can do. So I could first of all open up the iris a little bit and then I can go on to the shutter speed page. I could reduce the shutter speed um, so that I have a better exposed image. I can also work with the gain in the camera. So you see all these settings are broken out onto your PTC Wiz. If you have this scenario with basic users, you may want to hide it away, I know, but I'm just showing you that this is at your fingertips if you want it to be. We also have, uh, by the way, speed control for pan, tilt and uh, zoom and also focus on these knobs here. And then we have hue and saturation, which happens to be two additional features that you can work with in this camera. Let's turn up the saturation. Let's turn down the saturation. There you see. So we'll just keep it at eight, which is apparently a good standard level. Now, white balance. I think that's the final thing I want to adjust. So it's currently at auto tracking white balance, but I can change it to manual. I could go for one push white balance, outdoor, indoor, auto. So these are all available right here. And what I want to do is to go to the manual because on the next page, you see that red and blue gain previously disabled, just having a dash in the displays are now there with uh, numbers. So I already cheated a little bit because I think that I hit a white balance that I actually did like. I like this um, warm picture that I'm getting right now a little better than the automatic um, result. And But the, the point is that I can really just adjust it on these buttons for red and the blue gain in the PTC Wiz. I think the final thing we want to do is to look at the preset recall. So now we have navigated with the camera. We have seen how we can adjust settings. The last thing we want to do is to work with presets on the PTC Wiz and with the P100 camera. 
So if we uh, look at the navigation key on the lower edge, I'm toggling between camera selection and preset selection on the PTC OS. And now I am on the preset page. So let's say I want to save this as a preset. I simply press and hold the button here and it saves this position in the memory, in the camera. I'm just sending that instruction over. So let's just navigate the camera a little bit. I'm, I'll be zooming out here, navigating a bit to the side like that. Okay, so this is my second shot. I'll now press and hold on number two to store this location here. And then, then I could navigate back. I could even zoom in. Uh, maybe I want to focus on this uh, chopped off head of my little Chinese warrior here. Okay, like that. I press and hold number three to save it right there. So let's try and recall these presets. It's simply a matter of pressing the button. So there I go back to my main shot. Here I go to the close up of the head. And if I press number two, I go to this location, which is, uh, I also stored just a moment ago. So there you see all this power, all this power is packed into this little form factor. Super lightweight, sleek, most beautiful controller that I ever designed with my team. I'm really enthusiastic about it and I know you're gonna love it.